Hello everyone, today I bring you the long-awaited Thai new drama Bad Buddy series. Let's take a look. At the beginning of the story, Y was chased by several classmates in the alley, and the most powerful one was called Pat. Y who was fighting alone, and thoughtfully gave him two minutes to call someone over. On the other side, Pran was about to take out his paintbrush for artistic creation, but was hurriedly pulled away by his friend. It turned out that he was also one of the foreign players that we're looking for. At this time, the war in the alley had already started, and Pat and his team defeated all YS team with an absolute advantage. Just when Pat was about to stop, Pran finally arrived, and he kicked Pat to the ground, but what was even more unexpected was that Pat and Pran knew each other. It turned out that the two had been neighbors since childhood, and the two families had always been rivals, from the career to the son, to the daughter-in-law who has never left a word, and even the placement of the trash can. The two families have to compare. As two children, they have naturally been competing since they were young. The two competed to answer questions, compete for victory in sports competitions, and even competed in the popularity of their classmates. What's even more amazing is that the two cleverly got into the same university. When the two finished recalling the past, their competitive hearts were rekindled. Unexpectedly, the professor suddenly appeared, and the students had to run away. Finally, Pran and Y came to the cafeteria, and everyone knew what happened to Y and Pat. It turned out that the two teams were watching a football game in a bar, and the team supported by Pat won. Y gave the opponent the middle finger provocatively, which angered Pat. Y didn't think there was anything wrong with it, and even wanted to find Pat again for revenge. But Pran stopped his friend. He was thinking about something silently. On the other hand, Pat's friends are also very curious about who the person who brought down Pat is, and they plan to seek revenge from them. Pat didn't plan to participate, but he didn't expect Y to post a video of them fighting in the bar. Now that they had done this, Pat couldn't swallow it anyway, so he decided that he must seek revenge from them. As soon as the scene changed, both Pat and Pran returned to their respective homes and reported to their families that they became the chairman of their respective grades. The atmosphere of the two families was very good, but when it came to the neighbors separated by a wall, the attitudes of the two families were surprisingly the same. They simply looked down upon them. Even when Pran and Pat met at the door throwing garbage, they couldn't understand each other. Hey, Pat returned to the room, and his sister Fa was helping him clean up the dirty clothes. Unexpectedly, at this time, Fa persuaded his brother not to hurt Pran, and Pat agreed. It seems that there is a little secret between the two of them, and Pran returned to the room after taking a shower, took out a small box from the back of the closet, and the watch in it was returned to him by Pat. Looking at his watch, Pran couldn't help but smile. When the screen changed, in the school, Pat and his group were still staring at Y and the others, waiting for an opportunity to take revenge, but no one is separated, which makes it impossible for Pat to start. Y intends to participate in a music competition, so Pran agrees to help him get the registration form. Pat upstairs watched the two separate, and decisively decided to follow Pran by himself, and asked his friends to follow Y. Pat followed Pran all the way to the place where the registration form was picked up. As a representative of the students, Pat also decided to take one, but he didn't expect that there was only one registration form left, so the two had to wait for the teacher to copy. Even in such a short period of time, the two did not forget to compete. One of them played the drums and the other played the electric guitar, and the scene was once very lively. At this time, the teacher came back, but the registration form was gone. The two had to go out to make copies. While Pran was copying, Pat called his friends, but they didn't see why. Just when Pat was about to cancel the operation, the friends found that someone had walked into the laboratory, so Pat decided to hold Pran for another five minutes, but when he went back, he found that the person had disappeared. Combined with the words of his friends, Pat suspected that they had found the wrong target, Pran who appeared in the laboratory, but in fact, it was Pran who the friends defeated. When they found out they hit the wrong guy, things got out of hand. The two sides had to fight again, seeing that he was struggling a bit. Pran ran away quickly. Pat's little friends are still chasing after him. 
At this time, Pat suddenly appeared, took Pran and hid in the alley. Then, Fa appeared nearby and drove them away, and Pran managed to dodge them skillfully. Fa left Pran at the intersection and took his brother home. She emphasized again that her brother should not hurt Pran, and Pat also recalled memories related to childhood again. The reason why Fa defends Pran so much is because Pran bravely rescued Fa who fell into the water when he was a child. This incident was enough to make the siblings feel grateful. On the other side, after Pran took a bath, he instinctively glanced at Pat's room opposite. But unexpectedly, Pat jumped into his room at this moment. He came to negotiate. Pat didn't want Pran to take care of Y anymore, because he didn't want to fight with him anymore. Pran was a little shocked when he heard that, but he still rejected Pat, because his friend must take care of himself. The two had no choice but to make an agreement to make Y apologize and help Pat regain face. In the end, Pat and his friends ruined the plan. <laughs> Pat and Pran fought helplessly until the siren was triggered. In the end, they were caught by the professor, but because the classmates were not injured, the professor gave them a lighter punishment and asked them to promise not to fight again, and the two quickly agreed. But how to prevent the two colleges from clashing again? Pran decided to pay attention to each other and inform Pat of whereabouts, but who should pay attention to whom first? The two choose to search for each other's accounts at the same time and add them at the same time. After the matter was figured out, the two went home happily. Pran saw the watch on the table. He remembered that Pat had entered his room through the window since he was a child. Sure enough, the two still prefer to be friends where their parents can't see. Pat took the old watch and put it on his wrist again. And the crying face post-it note in the box turned into a smiling face in reverse. In fact, the fate of the two was more than that. Although the two families did not intend to do so, Pran and Pat's apartment near the school is actually opposite. A new day started. Pran woke up according to the alarm clock time, washed and cleaned himself up, and ate a nutritious breakfast by the way. Pat, on the other hand, slept soundly with the doll in his arms until he woke up in a panic when he was about to start class. Although one was calm and the other flustered, the two arrived at the door at the same time. Just when they were about to open the door to see each other, Pran remembered that the earphones had not been picked up, so the two cleverly missed the opportunity to know who the neighbor opposite was. As soon as the scene changed, Pat and his brothers were going to the cafe for dinner, but unexpectedly, Pran and his party were also there. Pat had no choice but to take the brothers away to avoid conflicts. From that moment on, the tacit understanding between Pran and Pat increased rapidly. When one party goes to the library, the other party will definitely be taken away and go to the print shop. And the two parties are so cleverly missed. Even going to the bathroom can be avoided by Pran and Pat. This kind of tacit cooperation made the two sides calm in a short time. But the enemy's road is narrow, not just talking. Finally. The two parties met in a small gazebo, and the two sides were at war for a moment. Seeing that the situation was wrong, Pran quickly used the excuse that the School of Architecture and the School of Engineering jointly built a pavilion and listed this place as a true space. Pat, on the other hand, understood the meaning of the other party with just one look. The two cooperated seamlessly, and everyone passed the level again without any danger. <laughs> In the evening, Pran returned to the dormitory, and the takeaway just arrived. He was eating takeaway happily, but found that there was an extra salad in it. Pran thought it was a gift from the store, so he continued to eat happily. Unexpectedly, at this time, the delivery boy called and told Pran that he had delivered the wrong meal, and put the salad from the opposite door into the bag. Pran panicked when he saw the salad he had eaten. So the polite Pran took the drink and knocked on the opposite door, intending to apologize. But the other party didn't answer the door. So Pran left a drink and a note of apology. When he had just returned to his room, the opposite door was opened and Pat walked out. He also learned about the wrong delivery and saw Pran's drink and a note of apology. Seeing such delicate handwriting, Pat imagined a scene where a young girl had a crush on her and told Fa about it. Fa heard it. He felt that his brother was thinking too much, because if there were no accidents, 
His brother would go after other girls tomorrow. Early the next morning, when Pran went out, he found Pat's breakfast on the doorknob. And such a strange behavior also made Pran a little confused. So when he came to school, he told his friends about these things. My friends thought that someone must have taken a fancy to Pran. After all, the dim sum is made in the shape of a heart. At the same time, Pat was also talking about his behavior in the morning, and he was very much looking forward to the follow-up. I don't know. What kind of reaction will these two people have when they find out the truth? What kind of story will happen to this pair of friends? On this day, just as Pat brought people in, he saw Pran and the others finishing their meal and preparing to leave. He hurriedly diverted his friend's attention, and the two of them cleverly missed again. After class, Pran returned to the dormitory, but found a small gift at the door again. Now Pran was even more panicked. Note attached this time actually made an appointment with Pran to meet on the rooftop at 9 o'clock. Friends couldn't help but tease him, but in the end they advised him to see if he liked it, and to reject it decisively if he didn't like it. So when the appointed time came, Pran came to the rooftop curiously and nervously, but he didn't expect that there was only one pad on the bare rooftop. The two looked at each other with disgust, and both felt that the other had ruined the atmosphere. At this time, a beautiful woman with fluttering hair also walked onto the rooftop. Both of them were a little excited now. Especially Pat directly matched the code and said the room number of the opposite door. But unexpectedly, the girl is not the neighbor across the door and has a boyfriend. And Pran was also shocked when she heard the room number. He wanted to leave quickly, but thought of what his friends said he didn't like. So he refused decisively. So, he turned around and told Pat that he was the one who lived across the door. This time, Pat was also shocked. What's the situation? After the matter was discussed, the two big boys didn't take it seriously and left the rooftop after explaining it. As soon as the scene changed, Pat and his friends came out for a drink. Everyone asked about him and the beautiful woman at the door. How could Pat bring up such a thing? Just in time. Why? Who was working in a bar? Attracted the attention of his friends. By core made up their minds to bully Y and find a place. And Pat thought about it, but didn't stop them. So Y tripped over and took a photo. Y didn't fight back, but chose to complain to Pran and others. He kept repeating this incident. And Pran got a little impatient. At this time Pat suddenly brought a friend to the dormitory to play. Pran was in a hurry. The next second there was a knock on his door. Pat's friend wanted to take the beautiful woman out to play. Pat had no choice but to confess that the other party was a boy. So the friends left. Pran was also teased by friends. In the evening, the two were going to have a good talk. But they quarreled as soon as they spoke. At this time the doorbell rang suddenly. And it was Pat's father. Pat was afraid that Pran would be chased away by his father, so he quickly let him hide under the bed. Dad learned that Pat was going to participate in the music festival, and told him not to be ashamed. And when he talked about Pat learning to play drums, Pran always made trouble. <laughs> Pat wanted to stop his father from complaining, but Pran's eyes were still red. When Pat's father left, Pran told Pat that if he caused him trouble, then he would move out. In the blink of an eye, another afternoon, Pat told Fa and Dad about his own in Pran Esulong. He came here to seek advice, and the younger sister really knew her elder brother. She knew that Pat felt guilty, so she came to find herself. So, Fa persuaded Pat and Pran to have a good talk and not let things become the way they were then. Pat walked into the teaching building with a heavy heart, and couldn't help thinking about that incident back then. At the high school music festival, Pran and Pat were chosen by their teachers to perform. The result was discovered by Pran's parents. Then Pran changed schools, and Pat always felt that Pran left because of him, so he made a decision. Meanwhile, Pran was looking at the new house when Pat showed up. <laughs> But Pran insisted on moving away. Pat was in a hurry, 
and accidentally fell on the bed when the two were arguing. This scene was seen by the agent, and she told Pran that there were no vacancies. Now that the two were going to face each other, Pat couldn't help laughing, although the matter of moving was settled. Neither of them would admit defeat. They entered the elevator noisily. Sure enough, it's still a bamboo horse, a childhood sweetheart. In the evening, Pran went to the roadside stall to eat, but there were no extra seats, so he had to find someone to share the table, but he didn't expect that it was Pat. Pran was afraid of being discovered, the two of them ate together. He kept looking around, but Pat didn't care, no one noticed at night. Pat did not change his mischievous nature, he kept teasing Pran, snatching food from Pran's bowl, coupled with verbal teasing, it was a headache. After finally finishing their meal, the two went back to the dormitory together, but they didn't expect the elevator to break down. At this time, the boring competition between the boys began again, and they agreed to see who would get home first. So the two chased each other and arrived at the door almost at the same time, and they were both exhausted. At this time, Pran took out the nasal passage from the bag and inhaled frantically to relieve his shortness of breath, but the careless Pat didn't have anything, so he had to ask to borrow it, and if he didn't borrow it, he went to grab it again, so the two became more out of breath, and the war was almost over here. Pran remembered the childish quarrel between the two just now. His eyes were full of tenderness and helplessness, while Pat's room on the other side was suddenly knocked. But when he opened the door, his friends appeared in front of them with scars. It turned out that in the absence of Pat and Pran, the two colleges had a serious fight. This is all right. The peaceful state that the two have worked so hard to maintain has been broken again. This time, the school had a video as evidence and directly disqualified the two colleges from participating in the music festival and the school ordered Pran College, which took the first step, to bear the cost of repairing the gazebo, so that the penalty of detention for probation could be exempted. Pran thinks that many materials are sold at home, which can save a little, but many materials have to be found at Pat's house. So while Pat's parents were away, Pran found Fa and asked her to help him buy these materials. On the other hand, Pat has been calling Pran but can't get through. Fa came to help his brother clean up the room at this time, couldn't help mentioning this matter, and asked why his brother kept bothering Pran. Although he didn't know about this incident, Pat decided to take responsibility. Pat thought about it. How could he contact Pran? At this time, he saw the simple version of the microphone in the drawer and had an idea. He threw the other end of the megaphone into Pran's room. Pat thought it was the other party who made the first move, so it was unreasonable for Pran to ignore him. But unexpectedly, Pran said that it was Pat's friend who first released the video of bullying Y, and Pat in the video was smiling happily. Pran didn't want to talk anymore, so he threw the microphone on the bed angrily. The next day, Pran didn't go with his friends after class, but planned to calculate the cost of repairing the gazebo. When Pat saw the scene, he also acted alone to keep up with Pran, wanting to help him and make up for this mistake. But Pran didn't need it so he refused directly, but how could Pat be the one to give up easily, and he followed Pran to the library, Pat with a good eye saw the news about the ecological innovation design competition on the wall, and passed the poster to Pran, next, Pran really prepared seriously and came to the competition venue, while Pat still followed here and entered the competition together as Pran's teammate, in the company, after a quarrel between the two, they finally managed to get along peacefully, the two walked into the elevator together. Although the elevator was very spacious, Pat still leaned tightly on Pran. Although Pran was verbally disgusted, his eyes were infinitely gentle. Next, Pran entered the conference room and presented his design. Although the boss of the company likes it very much, he has to give up temporarily because the company has passed a similar proposal recently. Pran was a little disappointed, but left politely. At this time, Pat suddenly stood up and he put forward a new point of view, which fits the company's development philosophy very well. So, the boss changed his mind, and he decided to ask Pran to go back and revise his proposal. After leaving the conference room, Pat couldn't help but laugh, and Pran solved a big problem and relaxed. He was curious how Pat knew about the company's philosophy, but Pat said the answer is by my side. <laughs> In this incident, Pat finally played his role. 
the two smiled at each other, and the relationship between them eased. But what about the two academies that have always been hostile? Will their relationship really get better? After the proposal was successfully passed, Pat took Pran to the musical instrument store. Pat likes drums, and Pran is intrigued by the various guitars on the wall. At this time, Pat remembered that Pran once had a guitar, but Pran said that he could not find it. Maybe it had been bitten by ants. While the two were still discussing, Pat's friends suddenly came from a distance in order to prevent others from discovering that they were with Pran. The two had to hide behind a small stereo until Pran dared to come out after their friends left. But at this time, Pat has been attracted by Pran's smell. <laughs> this made Pran instantly annoyed, and he left the musical instrument store directly. As night fell, Pran came to the gazebo with a notebook, thinking about how to design it. Unexpectedly, Pat appeared in front of him in the next second. He wanted to be alone, but Pat wouldn't go no matter what. Pran who had no clue, and gave full play to the skills of his engineering school, providing a wonderful way to find inspiration, that is, scene interpretation. Pat pulled up Pran who was sitting, and proposed that they pretend to be a couple. This sudden idea caught Pran a little off guard. He resolutely refused, but at this time Pat's baby made Pran elated instantly. So he agreed to the proposal, but he proposed that he should be the school grassroots himself, and Pat can only be his girlfriend. Without any hesitation, Pat picked up the bag on the ground and started pretending to be his girlfriend. Pat's squeamish request inspired Pran's inspiration. From the height of the gazebo to the ark and the surrounding decoration, Pran's mind opened up, and he thought of many ideas at once. At this time, Pat acted like a baby and asked Pran to feed him a drink. In the end, he was sprayed all over. How could Pat hold back? The two chased for a long time, and finally fell to the ground exhausted, ushering in the long lost years of Jinghao. Such a gazebo with the memories of two people will be particularly beautiful. <coughs> Soon the company passed Pran's proposal, but due to the high cost, the company only agreed to pay half of it. Although the proposal was passed, the problem is still a bit difficult to solve. So Pran rejected Pat's invitation to go to the musical instrument store, and Pat returned to the academy. Seeing his friend's heartless appearance, a little helpless, only one party was punished when the two parties fought, and the culprits still uploaded videos many times. He wanted to do something. But his friends didn't understand. On the other hand, Pran is still worrying about funding, but there is no good solution. So we had to go to the venue to see first. But unexpectedly, when Pran and his group were inspecting the site, Pat and his group also came over in great force and wanted to join them. How is this going? It turned out that Pat told his friends that the gazebo was originally a joint building of the two colleges. If only the School of Architecture is responsible for it now. Then this site is equivalent to handing over the site. How could the students of the School of Engineering watch such a thing happen? So, they willingly joined the pavilion construction. Now, the gazebo is really going to be a joint construction of the two colleges. As Pran and Pat shook hands, the matter was settled. This time, the funding problem has been perfectly resolved. In a blink of an eye, everyone went back to their respective homes. But Pran has been hovering in front of Pat's door but has not knocked on the door, and finally Pat saw it, opened the door and came out. Pran thanked Pat and wanted to ask him out for dinner, but Pat didn't understand the meaning of Pran's words. Even so, the two did not separate. Pat took out Pran's old guitar and gave it to him. Pran was very happy, but it was a pity that he could not participate in the music competition. Unexpectedly, Pat said that the school allowed them to participate. Pran asked why. And he kept silent about his going to the college teacher. <laughs> Pat is mischievous, he is warm and caring, and his series of behaviors make Pran's heart beat even more. So the mood sign at Pran's door also changed from a crying face to a smiling face. On the other side, there was a problem with the cooperation between the two colleges to build the gazebo. Pat led the engineering college and was always absent. Pran wrote the work done by the college on the board, which really inspired the motivation of the two colleges. And the work was completed quickly. 
After work, Pran and Pat couldn't help but secretly celebrate in the stairwell. After the pavilion was built, the school sent students from the media to interview and take pictures. The students of the School of Engineering, headed by Pat, all wore formal attire, and their leather shoes were polished to a shine. Although the School of Architecture headed by Pran seems relatively low-key, it still sprays perfume carefully. When Pran and Pat were arguing, a girl with a camera ran over, and Pat and Pran were also very surprised when they saw her. Ink, a classmate who transferred to my class before. Just at this time, Ink also recognized Pat. He told Ink that in school, Pran and Pat pretended not to know each other because the two colleges were hostile, and asked Ink to help keep the secret. After training, Pat was about to go back to the dormitory, but saw Pran looking for a Bluetooth headset on the side of the road. He eagerly wanted to help, but Pran didn't agree. But Pat didn't give up. But when he was concentrating on searching, he only heard a click and accidentally stepped on Pran's lost earphones in the grass. Ah, uh, this is embarrassing. <laughs> Pran reluctantly returned to the dormitory. Unexpectedly, Pat offered to send his earphones and broke into his room to pick up the comic book and read it. Pran tried to chase him away, but he stuffed his head into his smelly training suit. Now Pran got angry and kicked him out of the room. <laughs> the next day's common class, Pran arrived in the classroom very early, but Pat was late. He late, but he also left early. Pran followed Pat, who was skipping class, and planned to ask why, but the teacher caught him playing with his mobile phone. After class, Pran wanted to go to the copy department but suddenly handed over the matter to Y. It turned out that he saw Pat in front of the coffee shop. Pran was about to go in to say hello, but found Ink walking across from Pat with two drinks. And this scene also reminded Pran of high school. At that time, the two were in the same class and in the same band. One day, Pran met Pat while buying a drink and brought him a drink too. But when Pran went to the music classroom with two glasses of water, he saw Pat playing with Ink. Sour emotions welled up in my heart from nowhere. Pran gave the water to other students, turned and left the classroom. And now, that scene seems to be repeating itself. Pran walked away silently. As soon as the screen changed, the professor from the School of Engineering came to check the construction progress of the pavilion. Pran is here, Pat is not. Pran couldn't help asking where Corm Pat went, but Corm didn't quite know. On the other side, Pat is wearing handsome clothes and lazy makeup. Taking pictures, Ink carefully helped Pat arrange her hair. But Pat's eyes were a little wrong. He couldn't help but think that Ink might like himself. Right? While he was thinking about it, Foss suddenly came over and interrupted the strange atmosphere and chatted with Senior Ink. Pran, who was still working in the gazebo, took out his mobile phone and saw Pat's finished picture, and he was very angry. This anger was carried over to football practices by Pran. He thought of his confronting teammate as Pat, and charged hard. On the other hand, Pat's filming is also over. Ink wanted to invite Pat and his sister to have dinner together, but Fa saw his brother's careful thinking and refused to agree. Leaving the world of the two to his brother, Pran followed Y to the bar where Y worked. Fortunately, he didn't fall badly, only hurt his shoulder. Why asked Pran why there was no progress in the creation of the competition's repertoire, and Pran had to pretend to be deaf and dumb. He looked at the guitar next to him and couldn't help picking it up. Seeing this, Why urged him to sing a song. Just when the guitar sounded, Pran's eyes changed. It turned out that Pat and Ink also walked in. Pran saw them and was about to leave, but when he walked to the table, Ink found Pran and invited him to join the dinner. Pran agreed, but sat next to Ink. Ink thought that the two were avoiding suspicion and didn't think there was anything wrong, but only Pran knew the pain in his heart. Pran's friendship with Pat is already very obvious, but it seems that Pran obviously prefers Ink. Is this another unrequited love? What kind of turning point will the story between the two people take? After everyone sat down, Pat picked up the menu and asked the two to order, but Ink found that Pat was still wearing the bracelet he had given a long time ago. Pran also remembered the picture he saw at the beginning. Ink had already given the bracelet to Pat in high school. She helped him put it on with her own hands, but she also took photos to commemorate it. Seeing that his emotions were getting more and more out of control, Pran had to leave early, and Pat obviously found the other party's depression. 
but he didn't know the reason. After returning home, Pa came to Pran, saw his injured shoulder, and Pat offered to help Pran apply medicine. Although the two are enemies on the surface, they don't know whether they are friends in private. Such close contact made the eyes of both of them change. Pran looked at the person he liked with a gentle and loving smile. Pat just thought he was cute. Pat cheated and wanted to stay at his house, but Pran didn't soften his heart, but couldn't help laughing after closing the door. Fast forward to the day before the football game, and Pat has been teasing Pran. Ink didn't capture the sweet picture. Pat returned to his team, but Ink told Pran that there would be rewards for victory. The competition was fierce, and the Faculty of Engineering and the Faculty of Architecture fought hard. Pran and Pat also hugged instinctively, like lovers. It started off fine, with Pran unaffected by the shoulder injury, but as the opponent returned to defense, his injury began to recur. Pat was a little worried after seeing it, so he and his teammates proposed to guard Pran by themselves, but the teammates ignored it and knocked Pran down again, and Pran had no choice but to leave the field. As he was sitting on the edge of the court to rest, Ink came over, she gave Pran the same bracelet. Pran looked at the bracelet, carefully testing whether Ink liked Pat. Ink said that the two were just friends, and Pran couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief when he heard this answer. Both of them didn't know. Pat on the edge of the court watched the interaction between the two.
Ink's way of ordering is the same as Pran's, which is weird. Pat didn't realize he was smiling when he thought of Pran. After many years, when Ink and Pat had dinner together, they found that the other party was not as rude as before, and even praised Pat. But this compliment was misunderstood by Pat, who thought it was a sign of love. So he seeks advice from his younger sister. The younger sister disagrees with her brother's vision, but after knowing that the other party is Ink, she decides to help her brother. So, Pat soon invited Ink to a date together and brought Fa along. The two brothers and sisters began to test whether the other party had any interest in Pat. The first point is physical contact. While eating dessert, Pat pretended to touch fingers with Ink, but the other party didn't respond at all. The second point is eye contact. Pat is staring at each other, but Ink mistakenly thinks there is something on his face. Losing the first two points, Fa did not give up. She is going to cut to the point that her brother is still popular, but Ink still doesn't react at all, and Pat doesn't look upset. At this moment, his phone rang, and it turned out that the drumsticks that Pat had ordered from the musical instrument store had arrived. So he decisively left his sister and Ink behind and left. Pat arrives at the musical instrument store, but unexpectedly Pran arrives here afterward. The careless touch of the two made Pat feel restless, and the eye contact made Pat's heart beat endlessly, and Pran's slightly intimate phone call made Pat even more curious about whether the other party had a relationship. At this moment, Pat suddenly realized that all the reactions he wanted to see from Ink now appeared on him, and the other party was the boy who was not even considered a friend. In a panic, he remembered the last law of love that his sister said, and he would feel uncomfortable around him. After realizing that he had different emotions for Pran, he had no choice but to leave Pran in a hurry to calm his mind. As for the date with Ink, he doesn't want to go back. On the other hand, Pran returned home and saw the looted condensed milk and the small note left by Pat behind him. He was really funny and helpless. With a little joy, Pran scribbled the condensed milk and the note on the paper, but then, he remembered seeing the close contact between Pat and Ink, and his mood fell down again, leaving a big cross on the paper. At this time, Pat still can't believe that he likes Pran. So, he got an ultimate verification method from his friend, which is to be jealous. If you're jealous, you're in love. So, Pat came to Pran's room to verify the matter under the pretext of looking for headphones, but when he saw the photo of Pran and other people on the wall, he didn't feel anything. At this time, Pran received a call from Y, and the familiar and intimate attitude of the two made Pat feel a little uncomfortable. After the phone call, Pat asked Pran if Y had stayed in his dormitory, and after getting an affirmative answer, Pat was very angry. <laughs> The feeling of jealousy is really uncomfortable, and Pat, who is confused and uncomfortable, has no choice but to leave here as soon as possible, and his strange attitude also made Pran a little confused about the situation. Pat went back to the dormitory and remembered Pran and why discussing the band, and also remembered the high school days between himself and Pran. At that time, the two also wrote songs together and discussed together. Pran has always wanted to write a song that expresses the type of indecision attitude, and the idea that Pat casually said hits it off with Pran. At this moment, the younger sister came to her brother's room with Siu Mai. Looking at the worried brother, she thought it was because of ink. So she encouraged her brother to pursue love bravely, but Pat couldn't tell whether it was because of ink or what. In a blink of an eye, it finally arrived at the music festival. The School of Architecture and the School of Engineering got ready early, and Pran and Pat also met here. Pran has been asking about Ink's news, which makes Pat very puzzled, but Pran and Y's intimate behavior made Pat a little uncomfortable. At the festival, the School of Engineering performed first. Followed by the School of Architecture, Pat and Ink looked at Pran on the stage, but no one expected that Pran was singing the song they wrote together in high school. Listening to the song, many memories are also printed in Pat's mind. The two wrote rehearsals together, as well as the embarrassment after being discovered by their parents, but the memories were quickly shattered. It's not me who is performing with Pran on the stage now, but why? The thought made him sad, and he turned away. 
Missing Pran's sad eyes on stage. The two rivals seem to have been in touch with each other for a long time, but they always miss it due to various reasons. Can this pair of happy lovers finally understand each other's intentions? But in fact, Pat didn't leave, but watched Pran and his band on the second floor. Ink also came over. Pat saw this and confessed to Ink hesitantly, but Ink didn't take it seriously. She felt like Pat was just telling herself this, not really liking him. And what Pat is really worried about may be the enemy downstairs who is laughing with friends. Then it was time to announce the results of the competition. The School of Architecture beat other schools to win the championship, while the School of Engineering was full of dissatisfaction. After the event was over, everyone went to the bar for a drink together, but everyone from the School of Architecture had already celebrated here. And after the two parties met, they were at war again, but tonight, Pat was in a very depressed mood and didn't want to fight with them. So, he took his friends and turned around to leave. Pran frowned. After the party, Pat didn't go back to the dormitory, but waited downstairs for Pran. After watching the video of Pran and Y having fun together, he became jealous. Coincidentally, Y drove Pran to the downstairs of the dormitory at this time. Pat stepped forward to question unhappily. But Pran thought that Pat might not be able to afford to lose because of that song. While talking, the two confronted each other. Seeing the situation, Y immediately stepped forward and punched Pat down. Pran watched the two fight. He didn't want either party to get hurt. So he drove Y away angrily. And he didn't look at Pat again turned and went back to the dormitory, and Pat got up, looked at the condensed milk he bought for the other party, and sighed deeply. After taking a shower, Pat knocked on Pran's room door again, but no one answered. Pat sadly came to the rooftop, but met Pran. Pat finally expressed his feelings. After Pran transferred to another school, although he had a very happy life without being paranoid or comparing, he felt lonely. Pran heard Pat ask him if the two were not enemies. Would they be friends? His tears fell instantly. After saying this, Pat took a step forward and kissed Pran's lips, carefully touching them point 2222. But Pran broke out suddenly and kissed back again. But when the two woke up, Pran pushed Pat away and fled back to his room. Everything that happened suddenly made him feel unreal. Full of unknown and fear, Pat chased to the door and knocked, but he didn't know how to face it. Finally, the gazebo jointly built by the two colleges was completed, and the professor and the students took pictures together. It was the first time Pat and Pran had seen each other since they kissed, and the other was clearly avoiding him. But since the teachers and classmates were present, Pat couldn't do anything but follow Pran with his eyes. Finally, there was a gap, and the two were able to get along alone. But Pran chose to remain silent. He didn't want to talk about the kiss that day. Pat was disappointed when he just grabbed Pran to talk. The professor and his father walked over from a distance. Pat had to let go to give Pran a chance to escape. After the festival, Pran left the guitar with Y. Much to Pat's confusion, Y also didn't understand why Pran's mother cared so much about a guitar and even wanted to transfer schools. Pran can't say clearly why, but for some things, if you know the result is not good, it's better not to try to start. Pat has been unable to contact Pran, but on this day, both of them returned to their respective homes. Through the window, the eyes of the two finally met. In order to meet Pran, Pat bravely knocked on the neighbor's door, but it was Pran's mother who came to answer the door. But Pat was not afraid. He came to Pran under the pretext of sending documents, but he was still scolded. Fortunately, Ahui came to help Pran get the documents, and the matter was resolved. As soon as the screen changed, the School of Architecture collectively volunteered. Unexpectedly, Pat also followed. Pran was speechless. Pat saw that there was no one around Pran, so he sat down. But before they could speak, Y came back, and Pat had to stand up and give up his seat. A group of people arrived at the beach, and Ethan and his nephew Bobby from the community received them. This community is called the Green Community, where students will learn ways to reduce waste. Next, Ethan divided everyone into two groups by color. Unfortunately, Pat and Pran are not on the same team, but so what? 
Without delaying Pat, he took the opportunity to approach Pran, and he put the garbage he picked up in Pran's bag, and Pran really doesn't talk to Pat. Even when the two groups of PK are guessing words, they don't speak. In the next game, everyone is divided into two groups, and fate made them into a couple again. This game is a cooperative game, the newspaper will be folded smaller and smaller, and the last pair standing on it wins. Pat was very happy, but Pran turned his head indifferently, not meeting his eyes. <laughs> this time Pran's desire to win was also aroused. The eyes of the two looked at each other as if they were going to eat each other. The newspaper was getting smaller and smaller, leaving less and less distance between Pat and Pran. As a result, Pat stepped forward, and Pran couldn't stand still and fell down, and Pat protected his head before the opponent landed. This scene is actually a little unexpectedly sweet, but there was also an external influence, and he wanted to beat Pat angrily. Fortunately, I was persuaded by everyone, but when it was time for lunch, Y was still very unhappy, and the students from the School of Architecture didn't understand Pat's series of operations, but at this moment, Pat took the initiative again. He even took a piece of meat from Y's plate. Y really couldn't help but want to beat Pat up, and was stopped by Pran again. At night, Pran couldn't take it anymore, and he went to find Pat to settle the score in a threatening manner. Pat, contrary to his optimism during the day, asked Pran helplessly and sadly what happened. The situation was so hard, but so was Pran. <laughs> After all, there is no possibility for the two of them, so it is better not to start. Early the next morning, Bobby took Pat to find his uncle, because Pat wanted to go to the market. Pran was already sitting in Ethan's car at this time. Uncle decided to go with a few people, but he forgot to bring the key and wanted to go back to get it. Pat looked at Pran who was silent, and made a plan, using the way of chatting with Bobby. To apologize to Pran cryptically, and Pran's attitude has also loosened, and he secretly dislikes Pat. Ethan drove everyone to the market and asked Pat to help buy some ingredients. When the two arrived at the market, their state was no longer so tense. Pat is still the big boy who loves to play and make trouble, and Pran is still the rational and tolerant boy. Especially in this place where no one knows the two of them, they can say the phrase we are friends openly. On the way back, the car broke down suddenly, Pat and Pran had to get out of the car and push the car, and Pran fell into the mud, but in the next second, he got up and wiped mud on Pat's neck. After playing around, they came to the beach and washed away the sand and troubles with the seawater. The two had never had such a light-hearted moment. After the end, the two sat on the beach. Pat wanted to mention the rooftop that day, but Pran didn't want to talk about it, so they can only talk about other things such as whether they hate each other. Although the two were enemies on the surface and regarded each other as enemies, neither of them hated each other. Pat and Pran are actually very helpless, and they can't even talk normally when there are people, but in fact they have a crush on each other. Pat told Pran, don't think about anything else here, just follow your heart. So, his hand touched Pran, and Pran didn't escape. After that, Pat and Pran went to find Ethan after washing, but Uncle was not there. Pat helped to fill the printer with ink in advance, and tried to print a picture of Pran's sleeping face. Now Pran couldn't help but want to punch Pat even more. In the evening, Ethan put Pat and Y into a room to sleep. Y decided to take the opportunity to beat Pat hard. Pran learned that he wanted to stop his friend, but everyone doubted his position, so he had to say that he was broken in love, asked his friends to drink with him, and left them behind. Pat in the room was also aware of what he was about to face tonight. So, the moment he heard the knock on the door, Pat was ready to fight, but when he opened the door, he didn't expect that it was Bobby who came to deliver mosquito coils. The two finally made great progress, and Pat no longer evaded his own wishes and chose to take the initiative, but in the face of Pran's avoidance, what can he do? Just like he thought it was Pran who appeared, but in the end it was Bobby, can he really catch Pran? On the other hand, Pran got drunk with his friends and came to the beach alone. Coincidentally, Pat also came, so the two staged a subdivision of catching up with each other again, and Pat caught Pran again, 
The two sat on the beach. Since Pran refused to speak, Pat wrote kiss on the beach. He wanted to know what the kiss meant, but Pran told the other party that the kiss was nothing. Pat sighed helplessly, wanting to change the subject. He told Pran that he and Ink had made it clear that he didn't seem to like her. Pran heard this. His mood obviously improved. But when he continued to ask, Pat stopped talking. Immediately afterwards, they quarreled childishly again. Pran laughed at Pat. He couldn't catch up with the girl at first glance. And Pat didn't lose the wind. He didn't see Pran catch up with anyone. It doesn't matter that the two people's desire to win is successfully aroused. The important thing is that the word like no longer needs to be hidden, but has become a bargaining chip. Pat is determined to catch up with Pran and make him admit that he likes him. And Pran also wants Pat to kneel down on one knee and confess to himself. I was gone, pa. Ew. Ew. The volunteer activities were finally over, and everyone was going to go back. But Pat was still eating seaweed on the street. Pran came to ask him, but he teased Pran. Still a familiar scene. Do you want to eat? I don't give it. But when it comes to Pran, this trick is somewhat ineffective. He grabbed Pat's finger straight away, sucking the flavor from it. When school starts again, they are already sophomores. Pat got a new red car as a gift. When he got in the car, he took a picture immediately and sent it to Pran, asking him if he wanted to sit in the co-pilot. Pran was taken aback. And then he took a photo of his father and asked Pat to ask his driver if his father was okay. At this time, Fa opened the car door and got into his brother's car. She also became a first-year freshman, changed from her usual casualness, and became much prettier. Even Pat felt that her sister must be very popular. On the other side of the house, Pran's mother watched her son smiling so happily into his phone and couldn't help gossiping. She asked Pran if he had a date, but Pran told mom, just friends. Pran's mother is also very open-minded. She doesn't care about boys and girls when her son is in a relationship. Her only condition is that that person cannot be Pat. It seems that after that, the two of them really had a lot of difficulties. When the screen changes, Pran and Pat are in the same class. Pat sent cute photos to the other party, but got a negative answer from the other party. So, Pat had a brainstorm and had another small idea. In the next second, the photo appeared on the big screen in the classroom. And even the teacher couldn't help but praise him for being cute. On the other hand, Fa got lost on his first day at university and lost his contact lenses. Just as she was looking, Ink suddenly appeared in her field of vision. Although the contact lens cannot be found, Ink can lead the way. Out together holding hands. At this time, the School of Architecture also had major events happening at this time. The stage play directed by Byrne is about to begin. What is different from the past is that he changed a traditional love story into a BL script. Y was very excited and wanted to be in charge of the sound effect, and invited Pran, but Pran didn't want to participate, so he chose to be in charge of the background. That's how it was decided. Fa moved into Pat's dorm room after she went to college. The siblings had a video call with their parents. Dad told Pat not to ignore the football game, although he was actually a little slack. He still agreed to join the school team. After the video ended, my sister had a new question. She had to guess which senior gave it to her based on the snacks she received. Pat would have liked to help, but he has limited experience in this area. While the siblings were chatting, Pat received a message from Pran, so he hurriedly tidied himself up and then knocked on the opposite door. Although they are already sophomores, the two still love each other as always. However, when Pat walked into the room, he realized that Pran had called him to help replace the printer's ink cartridges. When Pat changed the ink cartridge, Pran brought out a delicious curry spread from the kitchen and then began to tease Pat. He took a bite affectionately and then fed the rice to Pat's mouth, trying to entice him to say he likes it first. But how could Pat admit defeat? He resisted the temptation and fed the meal back into Pran's mouth. Then, before falling into temptation, he quickly ran back to his room and rolled on the bed. Fa on the side was shocked when he saw it. The stage play has been in preparation. And why? Who was in charge of sound effects? Asked Pran to help with the music and told the main plot of the story. The two people in the play are opposite each other, but they don't quite deal with each other. Have to say, 
Isn't this a Pran and Pat documentary? So in YS narration, Pran thought of the tugging between himself and Pat. These sweet memories made Pran unable to control the smile on his face. So he had to hide from Y to find a book. But across the shelf from where Pran is, so is Pat. They started bickering again. And the two big boys were so naive as soon as they saw each other. Pat asked Pran if his Xiangxian rabbit was in his room. And he couldn't sleep without holding the rabbit. Back in the room, Pat started preparing long in advance. He used his sister's makeup to make himself look weaker. Pran knocked on the door. Pat began to feign illness. He also took off his t-shirt and asked the other party to wipe his body to cool down. And he didn't know which of the two was teasing the other. Pran rolled over and pushed Pat down. And then touched the other's body. The lips are a little closer. As expected, Pat entered the rugby school team. And Y was also on the same team. That night, Pran came to the playground. And Y asked Pran to help him watch the audition for the stage play. And kissed him excitedly after Pran agreed. Pat saw the scene very angry. He directly hit Y with the ball. Y turned to punch someone but was pulled away by Pran. Then the audition for the male lead of the stage play began, and those who came to the interview were either too embarrassed to act, or just stood still. Finally, there is a boy named Yellow who is not bad. When Byrne decided to make a decision on this, the senior sister next to him suggested to read the last classmate, and the last classmate was Pat from the School of Engineering. On the other side, Fa bumps into Y. Y fell in love with her at first sight. But Fa didn't notice him. Pran did not want Pat to attend the interview, but the enrollment form did not prohibit the engineering school from participating. Byrne agreed to let him participate, but Pat didn't have a hammer. And when Pran was watching a joke, Fa sent a hammer. And Pran didn't expect that Pat played very well. At the end of the interview, Pran told him that Byrne would choose yellow. Okay, Ink suddenly appeared to invite Pat to dinner. Pat got intimate with Pran to make Pran jealous. Pran was really jealous. He brought Y to the noodle stall. To make each other jealous, Pat and Pran scare friends and end up unhappy. The rehearsal of the stage play is still going on, but the male lead yellow is unreliable. Arriving late and leaving early, which makes Pran very upset. And even the emoticon at the door has turned into a crying face. As a result, Pat who wanted Pran to remove his makeup, changed his mind. He dirtied the other person's face playfully, and then gently wiped off the other person's face. Such a toss. Pran's mood really improved a lot. He picked up the makeup remover cotton and wiped it on Pat's face. But the next moment, the warm moment was interrupted by Y's knock on the door. So Pran quickly let Pat hide. But because of this, he found out that the special guitar was given to Y by Pran for safekeeping. And the light in Pat's eyes became dim in an instant. Worried that Pat would be discovered, Pran made excuses to take Y out of the room, and then went back with the excuse that he didn't bring his wallet. But this time Pat didn't smile anymore. Instead he was very lonely, and went back to the room without saying a word. Every time the relationship between the two finally made some progress, but there would always be various accidents that knocked them back to where they were. This time the careless Pat was hit for the first time. Can he persevere? Since the last bad breakup, Pran's mood has become not very good, and this bad mood has also affected the rehearsal of the stage play. Facing Yellow leaving early again, Pran finally couldn't hold back his anger and quarreled with him. Although pulled away by everyone, Yellow quit the stage play. So that night, Pran invited Pat to the rooftop, and used himself as a bait to admit defeat and confess his love first, to lure Pat to act in a stage play. Now Pran's desire to win was aroused again, and he decided not to use Pat. He wanted to find a better one, but the next day, Pat didn't come, and Byrne gave Pran a severe reprimand. Just when Byrne asked Pran to apologize to Yellow, the sound of the xylophone suddenly sounded. Pat eventually came. Pran looked at the glowing people on the stage and remembered the scene during the interview. At that time, Pat stood on the stage and entered the scene in a second, and the person who played the opposite was Pran in the audience. 
The two are in the play and it seems that they are not in the play. Every sentence is a line, and it really looks like Pat's confession. Pat's honest confession after the interview. At this time, the sound of the xylophone on the stage also stopped abruptly, and the staff couldn't help cheering. Pran also had a big smile. Pran said that if he likes someone, he will cook delicious food for him. Then Pat will admit defeat to him if he likes someone. In order not to make his lover sad, Pat is willing to admit defeat. After the two went back, the dinner was still curry, but Pran fed it gently into Pat's mouth this time. The atmosphere gradually heated up, but Fa knocked on the door suddenly. Pran and Pat kissed me and I kissed you in the room. Poor Fa had to keep ringing the doorbell outside the door. In the morning, Pran was awakened by the smell of fireworks. He thought his house was on fire, but saw Pat walking in with a love breakfast. It turns out that today is Pran's birthday, and this is a small surprise specially prepared by Pat for him. Pat begged for a reward from the other party, and Pran smeared ketchup on his mouth before kissing the other party. At this time, the smell of oily smoke came from the kitchen again, and Pat remembered that he still had a sausage frying. After finally clearing up the mess, Pran and Pat went out together. Pat wanted to hold hands, but Pran was afraid of being discovered. During the discussion between the two, Fa also heard voices coming out. She didn't understand why her brother was a frequent visitor to the opposite door now, and didn't even return to the dormitory. Pat prevaricated on the grounds of rehearsing a stage play. The three went to school together. Fa walked in front. And Pat and Pran quietly held each other's hands behind her. Pran received water with his name on it, and it wasn't from Pat. What's happening here? Pran enjoyed it very much, but Pat was not satisfied. It happened that Burn came over at this time. It turned out that there was a sad scene in the plot, and the music needed to be designed separately. So he asked Pran to talk to Pat about the inner feelings of the hero in this scene. The two discussed it, but as they talked, Pat started joking. At this time, Pat finally restrained himself a little, but after the senior left, he started to be mischievous again. Pran also cooperated, and the two started to play when they disagreed. Little did they know, Burn appeared behind the two of them again. <laughs> As soon as the scene changed, Ink was taking pictures of the actors, and Fa also appeared here. It turned out that she also joined the photography club, but as a novice, she was not skilled enough. After the two talked for a while, Fa left first. Not long after, Y came to Ink, who was already impressed by Fa's cuteness. He wanted to know some information about Fa from Ink, but when Ink heard that Y wanted to know about Fa, he immediately showed a super aura and suppressed Y. Why had to leave first? And then he came to Pran, and couldn't help sharing things about Fa with his brother, as well as the photos he secretly took. Pran was taken aback when he saw Fa's photo, and realized that things might become troublesome, so he could only advise Why to give up pursuing Fa, but Why didn't care, and instead reminded Pran that they had an appointment to drink together tonight. This shocked Pran again because he had promised to have dinner with Pat. On the other side, Pat had already driven the car to a hidden place and waited. He was in a good mood and played a song. At this time, Korm sent a message, asking him to drink. Pat just wanted to refuse on the grounds of rehearsal, but his friend was at the theater. Just as Pat was thinking about an excuse, Pran opened the door and got into the car. The secret meeting startled the two of them, but it seemed to be their daily routine to play around as soon as they met. The two sides also exchanged ideas on how to deal with their friends. In the end, Pat decided to learn from an improved Pran's excuse of eating with his mother, and told his friends that he wanted to have dinner with his father. The two drove away from the school quietly, but never thought that there was a white shirt watching them. At the same time, Ink and the president decided to eat hot pot together in order to welcome Fa to join the club. But Fa and Ink arrived first, and the relationship between the two was somewhat unusual. Later, the president was absent because of something which also created a chance for the two to be alone. My sister is eating a big meal, but Pran and Pat can only go home, enjoy the wind on the roof, and eat box lunch. Fortunately, 
This kind of life is very satisfying for both of them, because as long as there is someone they like by their side. But Pat saw the news posted by his sister, and still wanted to take Pran to eat something better, since there was no such opportunity for the time being. Pat took out his mobile phone and took a picture of Pran's finger, wanting to send it out, but Pran was afraid of being discovered by others. <laughs> Pran was a little guilty, so early the next morning, he prepared a small surprise for Pat, hoping to appease him, the note on the alarm clock, the squeezed toothpaste, the smiling face on the paper towel, the note under the lunchbox, and the goodwill before going out have all become tools to calm Pat down, he arrived at the stadium with a big smile on his face, and the friends at the stadium finally caught up with Pat and swarmed him to question how strange he had been behaving lately. Not only is he closely connected with the school of architecture, but also the smiley face pattern he sends in the morning is also suspicious. Pat thought his affairs were going to be exposed, but he didn't expect his friends to think that he was chasing a girl from the school of architecture and cheered him on. It turned out to be a false alarm. After kicking the ball, Pat came to the theater, and Pran was alone here at this time. He was worried that the picture of the doorknob of his room that Pat posted would be found by others. But Pat felt that such things were everywhere. There was some unhappiness between the two again. And this time it was Pran who was angry. At this moment, Burn walked in. Because the person who played with Pat hadn't arrived yet, Pran had no choice but to step in temporarily. Coincidentally, the part of the two people's audition is exactly the scene where the hero apologizes. Therefore, Pat used the cover of the play to hug Pran. No matter how shy the other party was, he would not let go. And even the lines were love words for peace. A moment. It was not clear whether they were the leading actors in the play or Pat and Pran. After this action, Pran soon stopped being angry, and the rehearsal of the two ended. After the training, everyone left. But why came to the theater at this time? He wanted to meet Fa by chance, but unexpectedly he looked around, and Fa actually appeared nearby, but she was looking for her brother, and Y was very angry when she saw the scene, why is there Pat everywhere, he just wants to rush to fight, seeing this, Pran quickly grabbed Y, saying that the two of them are brothers and sisters, this dramatic ending made Y confused, so he took Pran to the bar for a drink, although Y and Fa didn't know each other yet. Y had already fallen in love with her at first sight. He didn't even think about chasing Pat first. Pran couldn't help it when he heard this. He was already troubled by underground love. If one's own brother is with the enemy's sister, isn't that another underground affair? Persuaded Y with affection and reason. <laughs> On the other side, Pat took his sister back home, different from the past. Today's father was a little serious, which made Pat feel a little overwhelmed. Dad finds out his son skipped football practice for a stage play. This incident made Dad very angry. He hoped that his son would give up acting in stage plays, but Pat refused. Such an answer disappointed Dad, and Dad's disappointment made Pat very sad. So he dialed Pran's phone and heard a familiar voice. Pat couldn't help but tell Pran everything. The stage play is imminent, and there is no way not to perform it. And my father's disappointment makes me very uncomfortable. Pran listened to Pat's low voice, teased him by imitating the elevator at the window, and threw his clothes to him. While he was accompanied by Pat's earphones, the relationship between the two finally made progress, and the young couple finally entered a period of sweet love. But when their secret love is known by everyone, what kind of bloody storm will it be? What will this young couple who have just overcome difficulties do next? In a blink of an eye, it was time for the official rehearsal. Pran found that his classmates were discussing Pat's relationship in the center console. He was so scared that he picked up his mobile phone to check, but found that it was related to him. He hurriedly went to find Pat behind the scenes and got angry when he saw him wearing his clothes. Excited, Pat took off Pran's clothes and left. As the rehearsal began, Pran watched Pat from the audience, and their quarrel came to mind again. After the performance, 
Pran took the initiative to find Pat, and the two apologized to each other in unison. Pat explained that he just wanted to show affection, and Pran is just worried that he will encounter trouble after the relationship is exposed. But for the sake of each other, both are willing to compromise. Pran finally admits that Pat is his boyfriend. However, when the curtain fell in the next second, their love affair was exposed instantly. It turned out that Y heard their conversation in the center console. In a moment of anger, the two people's voices were expanded to the entire stage, and the curtain fell. Pran and Pat were dumbfounded on the spot, while their friends looked at them indifferently. As soon as the screen changed, the stage play had finished its last performance, and Pat and everyone were taking a curtain call on the stage. Why and Pran stand together? Why still cannot forgive his friend's betrayal and concealment? So, he left the stage without saying anything. Pran then ran after him, wanting to apologize to him. Although Why stopped, he didn't accept it. His friends and enemies are together and they still hide it from himself. After all, it is still difficult for Y to forgive each other. On the other side, things don't seem to be going well for Pat. When he wanted to dine with his friends, he was excluded from the confines of the college, and his friends did not allow him to join their dinners. Pat turned and left without pressing. However, just when he was very depressed, Pat's friends appeared. Corm also secretly sent food to Pat to express his apology. It turned out that the seniors pressured them to do so. Pat was relieved, but decided not to get too close to his college friends just yet. Corm told Pat that he would help settle things and said he would always support Pat. Pat came to the playground to eat with food, and Pran came to him with milk tea. The two discussed each other's situation. But it seems that Pran's side seems to be more difficult. Y still refuses to talk to him. Seeing that Pran cares so much about Y, Pat is jealous, but he still doesn't want to make things difficult for Pran. So he proposed to post the news of the breakup between the two, trying to get Y and Pran to have a chat. Pran felt that this suggestion was not advisable, but he was still moved by the other party's heart. He silently grabbed Pat's hand. <laughs> During football practice time, everyone gathered on the playground. Unexpectedly Pat and Y were assigned to the same group. Y was obviously very dissatisfied with this, and was unwilling to contact Pat, while Pat felt speechless and helpless. After training, Pran showed up at the playground, but he came to wait for Y. Although Y still ignores Pran, Korm has fully adapted to the fact that his friend has a partner, and jokes aside. Pat went straight to her boyfriend, acting coquettishly and cutely hoping to get attention, but Pran let Pat approach helplessly and pamperingly. Watching this scene, Y finally couldn't bear to drop his water glass and leave. As soon as the scene changed, Pran, Pat, Fa and Ink gathered together to eat hot pot. Fa was surprised by the quarrel between the two before and turned into a couple, while Ink felt that all this was not unexpected. The four relaxedly enjoyed hot pot while discussing the topic of love. After the hot pot was over, Fa sent Ink downstairs. In fact, she felt sorry for Pran and found her brother, such a rough guy, and Ink is not very interested in these. She is more curious about whether anyone is chasing Fa, but unexpectedly, no one chases after such a cute Fa. Ink suspects that Fa is too picky, but there are actually only two requirements for Fa. One is taller than her and the other is to get along with comfortably. As soon as he finished speaking, Fa jumped in front of Ink, and Ink's face also broke the social safety distance. <laughs> and Fa who was molested by her senior was very shy. Ink quickly comforted her, saying that he was joking. Pran and Pat, who stayed in the room, were doing the dishes. Pran clings to each other, wanting to kiss. Even he doesn't care when his sister comes back. On the day of the rugby game, Pran wanted to give Y a drink, but Y still didn't appreciate it. When Pat saw this, he took the drink brought by his boyfriend and drank it. Then he moved as if he was injected with energy and wanted Pran to join. Pran felt speechless, but at the same time thought Pat was cute, and he actually joined in. After such a fuss, Pran's depressed mood also improved. Pran came to the auditorium but his friends still ignored him, so he could only watch the game alone, cheering for them silently. 
At this time, the situation on the court was not very optimistic. The disagreement between Pat and Y affected the game to a certain extent. Y didn't want to have any interaction with Pat at all. After doing this a few times, Pat finally couldn't help but exploded. <laughs> Again, Pat's absence didn't change the score, and one teammate even fell to the ground and was injured. This time, Pat had to play again, but it has to be said that Pat's strength is very strong. His vigorous figure galloped on the court and quickly caught up with the score. However, the strength of the opponent should not be underestimated, and the score between the two sides was very tight. At the critical moment, the key ball was passed to Y again. Pat couldn't help calling Y and giving the ball to himself. Y hesitated again and again, finally let go of his arrogance and passed the ball to Pat. Pat team scored, and the audience on the sidelines of the court was also very excited. Pran quietly moved to his friend's side. Such a passionate scene made these boys no longer angry and reconciled. On the court, the cooperation between Pat and Y also achieved good results, and they finally won the game. But as soon as the game was over, Y went back to his silent Sundra mode. As soon as the screen changed, Pran was brushing Pat's hair, seeing how gentle he is today. Pat immediately asked for a kiss and hug. The two got into a fight. <coughs> Later, Pat followed Korm to the bar. At this time, Y is working part-time in the bar, and Hans, who lost the game, also came here with his follower. While Y was going to the bathroom, he blocked her in the toilet, fight as soon as they met. But unexpectedly, Hans took out a pistol. At such a tense moment, two drunks came out of the bathroom, knocked them apart, and saved Y. In a blink of an eye, Pat and his party also came to the bar. As soon as they came, they saw Y being bullied, and Pat walked over decisively and stopped Hans. Hans is also very fierce, but it is not easy to fight in the bar. So the two sides had to temporarily stop fighting. In the dead of night, Pat walked out of the bar, while Hans on the opposite side had been waiting for a long time. The crowd rushed forward and fought. Pat was quite strong in combat, and Hans took out his small pistol when he saw that the situation was not good. With a gunshot, Pat fell to the ground. As soon as the screen changed, Pran received the news and came to the hospital. Pat saw her boyfriend. She acted weak again. It turned out that all this was a false alarm, and Pat was only scratched by the bullet. Just when Pran felt lucky, the police came and suddenly, Pat's fingerprints are on the gun. They want to sue Pat for possession of the gun. When Pran was trying to find the gun, not Pat's evidence, Y came with his friends. After all, Pat was fighting Hans to help himself, and he wanted to help. He found the surveillance video of the toilet door in the bar and gave it to Pran. Pran got the video. He rushed to the hospital. At this time, the police were also on their way to Pat's ward. When the police interrogated Pat again, Pran arrived in time and took out the video to remove the suspicion for Pat. After this incident, Y was no longer angry, forgave Pran, and eased the relationship with Pat. <laughs> this evening, after Pran took care of Pat, he planned to go home. The interaction between the two was very sweet. But Pat's father, Pat's mother and Fa appeared outside the door of the ward. This embarrassing situation made Pran very nervous. So he left the hospital quickly. Then the Pat family came to the ward. And the parents wondered why Pran was here. Fa wanted to help his brother find an excuse. But his parents didn't believe it at all. Pat reassured his sister and told his parents that Pran helped him clear himself of gun suspicion. Both of them were a little shocked, but they didn't say anything in the end. Everyone picked up Pat and was about to go home, but they met Pran at the door who came to take out the trash. Pat got out of the car after begging his father. Unexpectedly, Dad got out of the car afterwards. It turned out that he had listened to his mother and got out of the car to apologize to Pran. This situation not only surprised Pran, but also surprised Pat, since such things can improve the attitude of parents. Is the conflict between the parents of the two less serious? This morning, Pat was sleeping soundly at her boyfriend's house.
The phone rang suddenly, and Pran forgot to bring the documents again and asked Pat to help him bring them to school. So Pat immediately rushed to the School of Architecture, but before he saw Pran, he realized something was wrong. Why pulled Pat to the front of the college stairs? Looking at the crowd in front of him, it is not an exaggeration to say that this formation is a wedding ceremony. The Natal family, headed by Pranis seniors, began to question Pat. From expressing your heart to talking about love, to showing your understanding of Pran, these caused everyone to scream. Pran is also happy to watch a good show. Today, the last hurdle of the Dragon Gate array is Pat S. Confession. <laughs> Although there is no ring, the fist collision between boys is the best promise. Finally, the friend's problems were perfectly resolved. And Y and Pran also felt that the previous confrontation seemed like a lifetime ago. Not only Pat, but even Korm and Y are not against each other like before. Finally, they sat at the same table calmly and flirting with each other. Seeing such a peaceful era, Y couldn't help expressing his heart to Pat. He was interested in Fa. And Pat doesn't interfere with the younger sister's choice, but still reminds Y friendly that the younger sister has a situation recently. On the other side, Fa is chatting with classmates, and everyone is curious about their pairing with seniors. At this time, the small cake delivered by the clerk was an order from Ink at the next table, and the two looked at each other and smiled. The picture changed. Pran accompanied Pat to the hospital for dressing changes. While the two were fighting, they unexpectedly met a Hui. The employee who had worked in both of them, this Ahui actually discovered that the relationship between the two was unusual as early as in the musical instrument store, but he was very worried about what kind of bloody storm it would be if the relationship between the two was discovered by his family. But Pat felt that the culprit was Ahui. If he hadn't quit, the two families wouldn't have had such a deep grudge. Ahui disagreed when he heard this. This is a peaceful resignation and a civilized employment, not job hopping at all. Pat and Pran were also a little confused. Next, the two learned from Ahui that the rumors and reasons for the incompatibility between the two families were not true, and both parents know the facts of the rumors. So why do they disagree? Pat went back to the dormitory and wanted to discuss her parents with her sister, but Fa was disturbed by love problems. So, Pat reminded my sister, if you can't be sure of the other party's heart, use the four rules from last time. Fa heard this. He ran out immediately and asked Ink, and the two came to the playground to practice taking pictures. Ink's feelings are not clear, but Fa responds to the four laws of love. At the same time, Y took Pran to the playground. It turned out that he got the news from Pat and wanted to meet Fa by chance. Fa did something similar to Y in order to test whether her feelings were real, but she had no reaction to Ink, nor to Y. And when Ink saw Y, he was also directly jealous. This situation is already obvious. Poor Y is really going to lose love this time. On the other hand, Pat is still running around with the family's historical legacy. He found the professor wanting to get the grievances of his father back then, but accidentally learned that Pat's father seemed to have attended the same middle school as Pran's father. Next, Pat shared the news with Pran, and the two tried to find evidence of this. It happened that Pran's parents were not at home, so the two rummaged in the study. They did find clues here, but it wasn't Pran's father, but his mother and Pat's father who attended the same middle school. After getting the news, the two had no way to ask their parents, so they came to everyone's alma mater, which is also the school Pat and Pran had attended. As soon as they arrived at the school gate, the memories of the two of them flooded their minds. Sure enough, Pran had been paying attention to Pat since middle school. On the stage, the juniors were playing the songs of Pran and Pat, were very excited to see the seniors and wanted to invite Pran to play the guitar again, but Pran refused. Pat dismissed the juniors and helped Pran out but he also wanted to hear her boyfriend play the guitar. So he thought about exchanging a secret. Pran thought about it and agreed. This is a little love song that Pran didn't finish writing back then. 
and it looks even sweeter and more emotional today when I revisit the old place. After Pran finished playing, Pat also revealed his secret. It turned out that on the day Pran transferred to another school, Pat took his guitar and chased him, but unfortunately he failed to catch up. Next, Pran and Pat approached the school's oldest teacher and asked questions about their respective parents, but unexpectedly, the two of them really gained something. Pat's father and Pran's mother are not only classmates, but also very good friends. The two were academic masters and partners, but they lost contact after entering university. Pat and Pran wondered why the two became incompatible after college, but the teacher thought it was because of the problems between men and women. <laughs> When the scene changed, Pat and Fa were eating noodles on the side of the road, and Fa couldn't help but confess to his brother about his sexual orientation and who he liked. On this day, Fa received a gift from Ink. The handwriting on the cover made her a little puzzled. Isn't this the person who gave her snacks anonymously before? And now, Fa is a little sad that Ink may be the senior of his own pair. She couldn't help but wonder if it was because of this reason that Ink took care of himself so much. Fa came to the darkroom with this idea in mind. She couldn't help but confess to senior sister Ink that if it was because of the pairing seniors, then she shouldn't be so kind to herself. Because her heart is already moved, and Ink was a little secretly happy when he heard this. Although the matter of pairing up as seniors was true, but she had won this spot for many people, and she had already paid attention to Fa for a long time. <laughs> The pair finally ushered in a happy ending. On the other hand, Pran and Pat, who have made it public, can finally eat and chat outside in a fair manner. Thinking of the relationship between their parents, Pat joked that maybe they were brothers. Next, Pat is committed to asking Pran to call him brother, from eating to going to the supermarket. Pat kept making troubles about Pran, but his father saw the scene. Pat's father pushed Pran down angrily. Pat angrily admitted the relationship between the two but was taken home by his parents. After returning home, Pat questioned his father why he let his past feelings hinder the communication of the next generation. After Pran returned home, he was also questioned forcefully by his mother, and he had no choice but to tell about his love affair with Pat. <laughs> But this slap couldn't solve the problem. Pran's mother came directly to Pat's house and told all the truth. It turned out that Pat's father caused Pran's mother to lose the opportunity to go to school. After he got the opportunity, he inherited the family property, which was enough to make her hate him for the rest of her life. Pat couldn't accept the truth. Why should he pay for his father's fault with his own love? As soon as the scene changed, Pran was alone on the rooftop, suppressing his emotions. He wanted to call his boyfriend, and Pat appeared on the rooftop the next second. The moment he saw Pat, Pran finally couldn't bear all the sadness and grievance in his heart. He hugged his boyfriend and let it out. And when Pran said the phrase I can't stand it, Pat also decided to take Pran to escape here. After deciding to flee, Pat and Pran came to the green base they had been to before. This time the two are no longer in a relationship of testing each other in tit for tat. They are already the closest couple. They come here to escape the mundane. When the two came to the beach, Pat sent a message to his sister to report that she was safe. And then took out the mobile phone card. And Pran did the same thing. Now no one really can bother the two of them. But Pat didn't stop. The next second he was going to throw the SIM card into the sea. And urged Pran to do the same. But fortunately. Both of them were still rational just joking, so the mobile phone was kept. The form is not important. As long as Pat and Pran are together, it is true freedom.
Next, Pat plans to go to Ethan, but he doesn't know whether to tell the truth about the two running away from home. But unexpectedly, in the next second, Ethan appeared in front of the two of them. Ethan recognized Pat and Pran and provided them with accommodation and food. Pat and Pran followed back to Ethan's house. While Bobby was still angry, it turned out that his mother was going to pick him up back to Bangkok early this holiday, and he had been angry for a week. At night, Ethan provides Pat and Pran with a room to sleep in, but the accommodation is not free. Early the next morning, the two had to work for Ethan, but even so, the two still feel very happy. In the space with only them, they don't have to hide their love, and they can act like a baby at will. Although the environment is free, Pran can't help but wonder if his family is looking for them. But these topics, Pat is not willing to talk about. But can evasion really solve the problem? When they come back, how will they face the years of grudges between their parents? In order to adjust Pran's mood, and also to avoid this topic, Pat proposed a new round of competition, that is, whoever mentions the family will lose. In the same way as bumping fists, the game takes effect in time. Early the next morning, Pat and Pran came to the fishing boat to help. The two novices are curious about everything. They are tired but happy, and they are rewarded after hard work, especially after getting a big fish as a reward for their work. The sense of accomplishment between the two reached its peak. And then there is the cooking of the fish. The trio of Pat, Pran and Bobby doesn't look very plausible, but in fact, only Pat is unreliable. Bobby cleans up the fish very neatly, and Pran is good at making sauces, which is my mother's secret. And with Pran unconscious, the family blurted out. Now Pran was a little flustered, but the considerate Pat didn't hold on to it. Instead, he ate spicy food that he couldn't handle, diverting Pran's attention. After everyone finished their meal, Bobby took his two older brothers to the beach to watch other people fishing, and complained about what his mother said. Pat, who was deeply touched, also told Bobby that not everything his parents said was right. But before the words were finished, Bobby's mother came over, and when Bobby saw his mother, he turned around and ran away. Bobby's mother also had no choice but to let Pat and Pran persuade Bobby for her. So, Pat went to Bobby, and Pran talked with her. Pran, who is sensitive and sensitive, can easily understand the feelings of being a parent. After a lengthy exchange, Pran was visibly depressed. So, Pat decided to take her boyfriend to go racing, and the two drove to a bar in the countryside. In order to be able to drink free alcohol, Pat decided to work as an hourly worker here. But I have to say, Pat is still a good boyfriend, doing the work by himself, letting Pran chat with the boss, and the free beer is hard to come by. So, careless Pat decided to drink with exquisite Pran in a bold way. At this time, music sounded in the bar. Looking at the uncle on the stage, Pran had longing in his eyes. Pat, who was watching from the side, had affectionate eyes. Pran was touched by the bar last night. So he picked up the guitar and wrote down the song he hadn't finished. Bobby's mother in the notebook. After reading the children's words and drawings, Pran also missed his mother a little bit. So he took out the phone card from his wallet and installed it back. But unexpectedly Pat appeared at this time. He told Pran that the owner of the bar had agreed to let him work part-time. Pran was a little hesitant when he heard that. Although the two ran out, he didn't think about staying here forever. At this time, Pat also discovered Pran's abnormality and the calling card he took out. Pran explained that he just wanted to call his mother, but Pat's mood was obviously depressed. In his opinion, he was too serious and paid for his blood by mistake. Then, he came to the beach alone and looked at the sea. But in the next second, Pran also followed. He took out the delicacies he had prepared, and with sweet words and his own compromise, he finally succeeded in coaxing Pat. In the evening, the two came to the beach again with wine. The two exchanged dreams for the first time and discussed why they liked each other. Although Pat looks a little bit bad, but he is very loyal and helpful, which is really cool. Although Pran is more clean freak, but he is really careful and patient. 
As the two experienced more, they had more and more beautiful memories, and they became happier and happier. But I don't know how long this kind of life can last. Taking advantage of the night and being slightly drunk, Pat asked the last question, full of love and temptation, can I kiss you? And this time Pran didn't agree because it was his turn. This time he came to take the initiative to respond to Pat's blatant love. And under the moonlight on the beach, only their intimate kissing figures remained. As soon as the picture changed, Pat and Pran appeared on the bed, where they continued their business by the sea. The next morning, Pat was still asleep, but Pran was awake. At this time, Bobby still had to go back to Bangkok with his mother. Pat and Pran go to see him off. Seeing the child walking with his mother, Pran was a little sad, but he didn't show it. Instead he took the overalls from the bar, but he didn't say it. It doesn't mean Pat doesn't know. Pat was very touched. Pran has been accommodating his little temper, and worked hard with him, not abandoning him. So in the face of such a boyfriend, he is willing to compromise. <laughs> And Pran looked at the person he liked, also full of reluctance, with red eyes and tearful eyes. Since it was the last day of their honeymoon, the two decided not to go out to work, nor to lie in the room and stop getting drunk. So in the evening, Pat and Pran invited Ethan to the bar and listened to Ethan tell his story. It is a story about a person who is alone and struggling to achieve zero pollution. The story doesn't sound very realistic, even a little ridiculous, but Ethan has always believed that little adds up. At this time, the bar owner also sat down, didn't come again today, so he wanted Pran to sing one, and Pran did not hesitate this time and stepped onto the stage. Today he wrote a song and wanted to give it to someone. That person was originally his opponent. But he didn't know when they had surpassed the relationship of friends and couldn't be friends. The guitar hits. And he knows it's a song he wrote for himself. Accompanied by simple lyrics and music, the two reminisce about their past. From childhood fights to growing up fond of each other. Maybe tonight was their last night together. Maybe they were going to continue to be enemies when they got home. But it didn't matter. At this moment, he is singing. He is listening to the song. And their happy time together is always short. It was dawn, and their escape journey was over, but in parting, Ethan told them, Pat and Pran returned to the door. They can't help but think, what if the two families are not enemies? If the two families are not enemies, they don't have to compare each other. They don't have to jump out of the window to see each other. And they can even go to each other's home for dinner. But the reality is that the two families are still enemies. And Pat and Pran cannot give up their families. So, they could only wish each other good luck. Then wiped away their tears and returned to their respective homes. In a blink of an eye. For years have passed. Pat and Pran are no longer the youthful appearance they were back then. They have become mature. The two got up and washed in their respective rooms. And then went to work. Pran's company is a foreign company and the atmosphere is very strong. Some colleagues even invited Pran to pretend to be a couple, but he politely refused. On the other side, Pat also combed his hair to look like an adult, and he became shrewd and capable, and Korm is still in close contact with Pat, whether it is work or life. Why who is closely connected? No one would have thought that the former rival, the opponent who fought every day, is now working together and getting along very well. Pat was also very emotional. He remembered the time when he and Pran came here to solicit sponsorship, and he sighed in vain. Now that old friends meet, everyone has to reminisce about the past. They came to the curry shop they used to go to, the shop is still the same, but they have changed. And Pat remembered the curry made by Pran again, and was dazed again. Time has passed, Why and Korm have their own partners, and Pat still seems to be alone. On this day, his phone rang and it turned out that Fa was asking his brother to help him move. Pat walked to the familiar door of Pran's house and couldn't help sighing again. Then, Pat entered the room. Fa's things were almost packed, but when he moved out, he saw the scene of the high school reunion. Pat was very emotional when he saw the photos in high school at the entrance of the party. The reunion of friends couldn't help but recall the high school years. 
At this time Pran came, Pat looked at the enemy that made him dream. He became more attractive. Pat kept looking at him. <laughs> Class reunions began to display old photos, and each photo seemed to bring everyone back to high school. Everyone is laughing and playing, playing carefree. Maybe that is the time when love begins. During the game break, Pat and Pran were finally alone, but before they could speak, Pat was called away by a friend, and soon it was time for the two to sing together. Pat and Pran finally had the chance to play together, the unfinished Christmas song that year, but this time no one interrupted. The two finally completed the original performance. The party finally came to an end and it was time to take pictures. Pat and Pran were still very far away, but couldn't bear the attraction of love. They were finally squeezed together by everyone and left a new group photo. I thought the party was over and Pat and Pran would have a chance to connect. But it turned out that Pat had to drop his drunken friend home. The two parted again. As soon as the picture changed, Pat was on the phone with someone. When there was a knock on the door, it was Pran who was calling outside the door. Pat pulled him into the room and skillfully removed his makeup. It didn't look like they broke up at all. <laughs> It turned out that the two had never broken up, and at the class reunion, the way they got along was also pretended. They deliberately make everyone think they are enemies, but enemies belong to enemies. Pran still remembers who Pat smiled at at the party. Sure enough. It's still the familiar mode of getting along with each other. The two have to quarrel within three minutes of meeting. But this time, Pat took Pran to the familiar photo wall, where all the memories of the two of them were held. Little boy with dimples and the big boy with fierce eyes were originally forbidden to be friends, but they walked together before they knew it. Before the two of them went home that day, they realized that their relationship would make many people unhappy. So they decided to build plank roads openly and cross Chinsung secretly. They officially broke up, but they secretly started a secret love affair. During the day, Pat and Pran are still rivals, rivals, and enemies. But at night, the two become lovers. To keep the relationship going, they told why. Korm and Fa, Inc., with everyone's help, the love between the two has become very sweet again, and the parents of the two families are no longer as hostile as before, although they still haven't reconciled. Their friendship is slowly recovering. In such a situation, Pat can even continue to climb the boyfriend's window. Of course, they must be in close contact, but the happy time is always short-lived. Pran got a job offer in Singapore, and even though it's only a two-year contract, the nostalgia will still be there. Pat also has to work hard for his own career, so the two can only start a long-distance relationship. Pat personally sent Pran to the airport and prepared earphones for him hoping to ease the missing of each other. Pran also prepared some things that Pat likes in advance to help Pat relieve the pain of missing. Despite the distance, the two remained close. It turned out that Pat's sigh was not helplessness, but melancholy caused by missing. So the two came to the bar. It turned out that this bar has been rented by Y and Korm, plus Fa and Inc. Tonight is another wave of old friends gathering. No one could have imagined that the two people who were at odds at the beginning would be so harmonious now. And the bar party is over. Pat and Pran have a second wave. Then I have to mention the noodle stalls on the side of the road. And now Pran is used to ordering an extra one for Pat to grab. Although Pat and Pran's meeting was filled with joy. The two still had to go home. Standing in front of the house again this time, the two of them were already in a different mood than last time. Pat can even play tricks and kiss Pran. At this time, Fa and Ink and Pat's family got along sweetly, and their parents accepted it very well. They seemed very happy. Pat returned home with the wine that Pran bought for his father. Although his father still insisted on not letting go, his mother still relieved his son. He still drank the wine given by Pran secretly when no one was around, and the atmosphere in Pran's home is also very harmonious. Pran's mother looked at her once little son, 
and her heart softened. At this time, Pat's father came out to throw out the trash and put the wrong letter back into Pran's mailbox. These actions made Pran's mother want to let go of her hatred, so she returned Pran's guitar to him, and Pran was a little surprised when he saw the guitar, and his heart has never been so relaxed. Next, the song that belonged to him and Pat flowed from the fingertips and successfully summoned the neighbor's boyfriend. Unfortunately, Pat hadn't jumped out of the window for too long and fell down. The loud noise was also heard by Pat's parents, but they decided not to care about it, but let the children decide their own lives. Pat went through hardships and finally arrived at her boyfriend's room. <laughs> With the guitar returned by her mother, Pran no longer needs to secretly play. So the two looked at each other, the melody of the love song sounded, and they sang duet. And the huge laughter naturally alarmed Pran's parents downstairs, but they didn't respond either. They still watched their TV and let the children in the room live their happy lives. It was very late, but Pran still sent Pat out, and Pat was very flexible when he came, and even started to pretend to be weak when he left. Looking at such a boyfriend, Pran also finds it interesting and sweet. So when Pat returned to his home, he took out the microphone with the memories of the two of them. The little megaphone connects their sweetness. At that moment, the two of them seemed to have returned to their childhood. The two children had quietly become friends in the night. And they were not just friends. Insert a sweet side story, Pat Pran, our hero, has always liked to bet. And the finale will end with a game. At first the loser just needed to drink, but things changed gradually, and Pat actually changed the bet to a face kiss, and kissed three times directly. Pran was unwilling now, and he decided to change the bet to allow the other party to do whatever he wanted, but asking the other party's name. Is this also a question? But how can it be difficult to get Pat? Pat used his wit to successfully kiss Pran again, but Pran put Pat under the pressure with a couple trick. Pran successfully heard Pat call baby and surrender. He turned around and wanted to run. How could Pat let him go now? He ran after him, pushed the door lightly, and the two went from the outside to the bed, then to the sofa, and finally stayed in the kitchen. Pran and Pat lived outside this door shamelessly, continuing to be childhood sweethearts. It also ends here, and experienced their feelings together with Pran Pat, with laughter and tears. However, Happiness and stability is the best ending. Thank them for not being changed by the world. And thank them for changing the world in the end. Alright, that's all for today's video. See you next time.